Hello everyone, welcome to Wings of Arrow. Today we will see some of the topic wise MCQ based on basic thermodynamics. So first question, which of the following are the intensive properties? First one, kinetic energy, second, specific enthalpy, third, pressure, fourth one is entropy. Select the correct answer using the code given below. So if they have given the couple of options. So as we know the intensive property means that it is independent of the mass. So wherever there is independent of mass like specific enthalpy and pressure. When we talk about any kind of energy or the entropy it falls under the extensive property. So the right option is option C that is 2 and 3. Two blocks which are at different states are brought in and contact with each other and allowed to reach in a final state of thermal equilibrium. The final temperature attained is specified by. So as you know uh, zeroth law of thermodynamics what it says suppose we have two blocks A and B when they are in thermal contact with each other and if another body C come in contact with any one of the body either A or B then it states that the final temperature of A, B and C will be same that defines the zeroth law and that is the answer A. Moving to the next question here we can see the master following read the questions carefully in list 1 we have the couple of cycles reverse cycle mechanical work zeroth law and heat in list 2 we have the measurements of temperature caprion equations Clausius theorem high grade energy third law of thermodynamics in exact differential now looking to the list 2 and list 1 measurements of temperature falls under the zeroth law. So let's look into the options here you see that which one of the following falls under C is equivalent to 1. So see either we can see the options A or B. Now let's look into the remaining one. Let's look into the reverse cycle. Reverse cycle it represents uh, Clausius theorem. So we can say the A tends to 3 then we can say that the right option is option A. Now in free expansion of gas between two equilibrium states the work transfer involves. So in this question they have said about a free expansion. So always remember for a free expansion that means the pressure will be zero. So if the pressure is zero then here obviously the work done by that particular free expansion will be zero. So the right option is option D. Let's read the question. Find the value of work done by 1 kg of ice at 0 degree Celsius is completely melted into water at 0 degree at constant pressure of 1 bar. The latent heat of fusion of water is 333 kilojoule per kg and the densities of water and ice at 0 degree Celsius are 999 kg per meter cube and 916 kg per meter cube respectively. Now they have given the some kind of values and from that values we have to find whether the work is done by the system or to the system. Let us see what are the given data so in the given data they have asked that what is the work done we need to find out 1 kg of ice that is mass is given okay now they have said the process is the ice is getting converted in water all right now at constant pressure is given and we need to find work done now when they have given first write down the formula okay v2 minus v1 is the formula okay now pressure is constant either you can write p1 p2 all are same this p1 1 bar 1 bar means 10 power 5 pascal all right now they have given the density of water that means first state is ice second state is water so first state when you are giving 
that it means that is here density of water is 999 that means rho 2 and density of ice is rho 1. Now you know that volume equals to mass by density. So, we can rewrite the equation as P1 by m by rho 2 by m by rho 1 the mass remains constant. So, when you substitute the value 1 into take the mass outside and 10 power 5 then you have 1 by rho that is 1 by triple 9 minus 1 by 916. Now, when you resolve that equa uh, formula 916 minus triple 9, we get the answer is negative. When you resolve in the calculator, we get something like 0 0.07 minus of that in terms of joule. So, minus represents that is heat is the work done is into the system into the or to the system ok minus reference the work done is to the system. So, right option is option B for a reversible adiabatic expansion in a steady flow process the work transfer per unit mass is. So, remember here they have asked a work done in terms of reversible. So, reversible the formula is work done equals to integral of P dV. So, the right option is option B. Find the value of work done 2 to 1 process of an closed system undergoes a process 1 to 2 which the values of Q12 and Q1, Q12 and W12 are plus 20 kilojoule and plus 50 kilojoule respectively. If the system is returned to the state 1 and the Q21 is minus 10 kilojoule is in terms of joule. Now, please observe one thing very carefully. They have given the units in kilojoule, but they want the answer in joule. So, we know from the first law of thermodynamics that summation of all the Q will be summation of all the work done. Summation of heat will be equivalent to summation of work done. Now, here we will have Q 1 to 2 plus Q 2 to 1 will be equivalent to W 1 to 2 plus W 2 to 1 and from here what you have to find? You have to find this W 2 to 1. Now, what you can do here? Substitute the values. Here we have 20 minus 10. So, 20 minus 10 equals to here we have 50 plus 2 minus 1, then we get W21 becomes minus 10 minus 40 kilo joule. Now, they have asked the answer in terms of joule that means minus 40 into 10 power 3 joule. So, the right option is option A. Find the value of work done in kilo Newton meter on a on the gas is compressed in a cylinder by a movable piston to a volume one and half of its original volume. During the process, 300 kilojoule heat added the gas and the internal energy remains same. Round off to one decimal places. So, in this given we have one system. So, there is system 1 and process 2, ok, process 1 and 2. What happens in that process? Heat is added. How much heat? The Q is given as 300 kilojoule has been provided. During the process, what is happening? The internal energy that is U1 and U2 remains same. That means, change in internal energy will become 0 and from that we need to find how much amount of work done. So, recall the first law of thermodynamics what is that Q minus W that is heat added minus the work done will be the change in internal energy. So, if the change in inner internal energy is 
0 then we can can we say that q will be equals to the w that is nothing but the 300 kilojoule now the kilojoule we can also write in terms of 300 kilo newton meter both are same so they have asked in one decimal places so your answer will be 300.0 no need to write the unit because already they have mentioned it over here a reversible heat engine operating between hot and cold reservoirs deliver a network of 54 kilojoule while it reject a heat of 66 kilojoule the efficiency of the engine so first what they have asked they have asked a heat engine so whenever they have given the question first draw the uh, schematic or the flow chart first what happens so here we have the high temperature reservoir okay from the high temperature is moving to that heat engine it's flowing to a cold thermal reservoir moving to the cold thermal reservoir so what they have given they have given the network done okay w is w t minus w c which is equivalent to 54 kilojoule that has been provided and heat is rejecting from where the heat is rejecting q2 has been given that is 66 kilojoule this is q1 okay or we can also write t1 or t2 okay these are the given data so what they have to find we have to find the efficiency so what is the formula for the efficiency is that the network done by the heat added to the system q1 and what are the given data they have given the q2 and the w so can we rewrite the equation w by we know what is w can also written as q1 minus q2 so from there we can we can find q1 equals to w plus q2 so we can rewrite q1 is w plus q2 when we resolve that we get 54 by 54 plus 66 when we solve we get 0 0.45 that means 45 percentage the right option is option d the given figure shows the variation of force in an elementary system which undergoes a process during the plunger positions changes from 0 to 3 meter if the change in internal energy of the system at the end process is 2.5 joule then the heat absorbed during the process is so they have given in this question that the change in internal energy they need to ask or they need to find how much amount of heat absorbed by this system and they have given the graph and the graph shows that it is between the force versus a displacement so when we know the force versus displacement means the work okay how much work done the area under this curve will represent how much amount of work done so from the first law of thermodynamics q equals to change in internal energy plus work done will give you how much amount of heat absorbed so change in internal internal energy has been given now we need to find out the work done now how we can find out the work done we have to find the area under this curve now we can see one triangle form along this side right and one rectangular across this one all right so we need to find use the formula to find out the work done so first we'll find for the triangular so what is that half base into height so half what is the base is 1 meter what is the height we have 10 minus 5 we have the 5 okay plus we have one rectangular so what is that the length into height so height is we have again 5 length from 0 to 0 to 3 that is 3 when we solve we are getting uh, 2.5 plus 15 we get 17.5 so 17.5 we got is a is a joule in terms of joule we got because 
we have found in newton meter is nothing but the joule we can write so to find out the heat absorbed during the system that is 2.5 has been given as an change in internal energy 2.5 and work done we found is 17.5 in terms of joule so we get 20 joule so the right option is option c change in internal energy in a reversible process occurring in a closed system is equals to the heat transfer if the process occurs at constant these are the options now what they are telling that at what conditions the change in internal energy will be equivalent to the heat transfer now let's uh, again recall the first law of thermodynamics what is that q minus w that is a heat transfer minus work done equals to change in internal energy we can also write in this way that q equals to del u plus p into dv v is a change in volume p is a pressure now here when there is a change that means if this value has to be zero then only this terms will become equivalent with each other and what is the condition when v1 from the process 1 and v2 will be same then the change in volume will become zero then we will have the heat transfer will be equivalent to change in internal energy so the right option is option d heat flows between two reservoirs having temperatures 1000 kelvin and 500 kelvin respectively if the entropy change of the cold reservoir is 10 kilojoule then the entropy change for the hot reservoir will be okay. so they have asked about the entropy change so they have asked let's first draw the reservoir heat flows from that is heat kelvin that is a high temperature thermal zone it's moving to a low temperature zone reservoir that is around 500 kelvin heat is getting transfer okay now they are saying the change in entropy change in the cold reservoir the amount of entropy change in the reservoir is 10 kilojoule kelvin that is let's consider this is t1 and this is t2 and entropy change in the reservoir 2 is del s2 and change in reservoir the hot reservoir is del s1 so let's recall the formula for the entropy is q by t1 there's a formula so change in that because here the q is same q is same so what we can do is so s2 has been given s2 means q and t2 right so s2 is given that is 10 into t2 is 500 when you solve you are getting the q that is it is about 5000 kilo joule all right now to find out del s1 that is the change in entropy in the hot reservoir you know the q value that is 5000 kilo joule and t1 is 1000 all right now we can get that change in hot reservoir is 5 kilo joule per Kelvin. Now the question comes that here look into the options we have plus 5 minus 5. Now what is happening here in the Q? Q is when I am looking to this the reservoir 500 Kelvin the heat is added into the system. So we will have the positive heat is entering but looking to this S one that is a reservoir the hot reservoir that is a thousand kelvin the heat is leaving 
so you will have negative sign the specific heat of an ideal gas depends on its so always remember the specific heats always dependent with the temperature it's only one and only depends on the temperature okay the specific heat ratio cp by cv for a gas with n where n is a degree of freedom is equals to so always remember this equation cp by cv equals to n plus 2 divided by n so it is also can be written as 1 plus 2 by n so the right option is option d a system operates under steady flow conditions receiving the steam at the following states pressure is given temperature is given enthalpy is given velocity elevation now when the steam leaves the turbine of the following state again the consecutive values are given pressure enthalpy velocity and the elevation has been given heat is lost to the surrounding at the rate of 0.29 kJ per second now they have given the amount of heat lost in the system and if the rate of steam flow through the turbine is they have given the mass flow rate what is the power output of the turbine in kilo watt so here in this given uh, question they have given the unit in terms of kilojoule per kg so remember the formula we have to use here is h1 plus v1 square by 2000 plus g z1 by 1000 okay plus dq by dm okay equals to H two plus V two square by two thousand, okay, plus G Z two by one thousand, plus D W by D M. There is a formula you have to use. Now we have the respective values. This is the enthalpy H one. This is V one. This is Z one. Where G is nine point eight one. Okay, this value is also given over here that is 0.29 okay 0.29 is given and we have to multiply this in mass flow rate with that they have given the mass flow rate all right so mass flow rate is also given now when you solve this equation substitute and solve and we get that is the work done by this output of the turbine is 112.515 okay now remember when we using the turbine since they have given the turbine we have to use plus sign but in case if they have given the compressor we have to use a negative sign so you see the options if you do a slight mistake you will get a different answer so the right answer is 112.515 it's kilowatt Uh, it takes 10 kilowatt to keep the interior of the certain house at 220 degree celsius when the outside temperature is 0 degree celsius the heat flow is usually obtained directly by burning gas or oil calculate the power required if the 10 kilowatt heat flows were supplied by operating a reversible engine with the house as the upper reservoir and the outside surroundings as the lower reservoir so the power were used only to perform the work needed to operate the engine in kilowatt so first understand what is the question they are asking now in this question they are asking that inside uh outside we have the cold temperature and inside we have the hot temperature and what how we are doing by burning the gas that means it is a effective of the heat pump they are asking or uh, the the problem is based on the heat pump okay so let first draw the cycle so here we have the upper reservoir that is a high temperature reservoir here we have the heat pump okay and from here we have the 
low thermal reservoir that is a 0 degree ok. So, that is a 0 degree here we have the 20 degree Celsius and what they are telling that they have given some amount ok. Now, we have to understand very carefully what this amount it takes 10 kilowatt 10 kilowatt to keep the interior it take it is taking that is Q 1 is given Q 2 is not given ok. So, Q 1 equals to 10 kilowatt ok it takes the interior interior how much we are maintaining 20 degrees Celsius ok by burning the gas and oil alright. Now, this is the problem and from there we have to find out how much amount of work is needed. So, again recap that is COP coefficient of performance what is the formula here with our desire is a high heat ok desired effect is a heating. So, Q 1 by work done equals to T 1 by T 1 minus T 2. Now, since they have given in degree Celsius do not forget to convert in Kelvin. So, here if I want to convert 293 Kelvin 0 means 273 Kelvin ok. Now, Q 1 is given 10 we need to find the work done equals to T 1 is 293 difference of T 1 minus T 2 is 20. So, when we resolve that we get is 200 divided by 293 you get around something 0 0.68 the right option is option A. Uh, here you have to predict the true and false heat and work are extensive property and follows the path function. So, both the statements are quite correct because both the heat and work depends on the mass and it does not depends on the points it does not it depends on the process which process it is following. So, it is a path function. So, the right option is option true. Hope the solution was very useful for you all and see you in the next video till then take care.